About two weeks ago, I asked you guys to send in your aquariums for me to rate from 1 to 10. We've been looking at a lot of really terrible aquariums on subreddits and then some that people claimed were good but aren't. So I wanted to see, since you guys love making fun of other people's aquariums so much, what do you guys got going on in your aquariums? So I asked you guys to submit, we got 35 responses, and we're gonna see what, uh, what we got. Discord name, Miguel. Upload an image of, or two. They didn't upload an image. I don't have a photo because it's a pond at my grandma's house. What do you want me to do with that? Okay, thanks for submitting. All I have is your name and you telling me you don't have a photo. You get a zero. You get a zero out of 10. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but this is a terrible submission. This is a terrible submission. EEE, -E -E. I know EEE. EEE -E -E. e -E is in the Discord. All right, image or two of your fish tank. That's not a fish. <laughs> Did anyone submit a fish tank? That is a skink, not a fish. Absolute, I'm pretty sure not a fish. So uh, I keep lizard in fish tank because space and I'm broke and I'm on vacation and I don't have any pictures of the tank. You put two pictures of the tank. And it's a skink. To be fair, you said aquarium. Yeah, that's a terrarium, not an aquarium. It also says in big letters, show us your fish tank. Submit your own personal fish tank. You, under, you, guys under, you, you guys are not taking this seriously. You understand the winner of this gets a custom Discord roll, which says that you have the best aquarium. You guys aren't taking this seriously. I'm disappointed. Samuel Everest. All right. That's not a bad tank. I, I like the substrate. A lot, a lot of fake stuff, but that's fine. Humans can be appealed. There's also real plants, which I like. Are there any fish? I don't see any fish. Oh, wait, there's something right there. Okay, there's little like redheaded Tetras or something like that. Tropical freshwater, oh, rummy noses, yeah. 70 liters, we got a second hand, so we don't for sure. Has one Dalmatia Molly and five rummy noses. That's a solid tank. I'll give that a five. That tank is a five. All right, ZQ. Two fish, Gus and Jack. So this is, um, interesting. I mean, it's pretty clean. It is goldfish in a tank that they are eventually not going to fit in. And, um, it's pretty fake. Not not really the kind of thing that I'm into. I prefer real plants and, you know, stuff like that. But I guess from a human perspective, it's cool. Yeah, these goldfish are going to get way too big for this tank. But for now, it's fine. I'll, I'll give it a three. I'll give it a three. It's not bad, but if I saw this in like a store, I'd be like, ah, that's a little tacky, you know? Next up is our man. Okay, that is an extremely blurry photo. What do you want me to do with this photo? You have a less blurry photo. Okay, sure. Holy fuck, get a better camera. <laughs> okay, it's a cool ass tank though. Okay, these photos are all so blurry. However, I can tell even though this this is the blurriest photo I've ever looked at. This is a really nice tank. I like this. I like the sand. It's huge. It's got the rocks. It's got a really cool driftwood. There's clearly some live plants. You can see the roots. There's not very many fish. It's not overstocked. This is this is an impressive tank. I like this tank. If I saw this tank, I would be impressed. I'm going to give this a 7. All right, from pain. That is a frog. Okay, that's fine. Surely there's fish. These are just pictures. I, you didn't even show the tank. You just showed a frog. I mean, the substrate is cool. There's bloodworms, I think. The, there's clearly live plants, but this is not... I'm supposed to be... The frog is stood up. Good point. I'll give it a, a four. I can't even see the tank. How am I supposed to rate the tank if I can't see it? Actual lizard. Oh, that's a very nice one. That's a very nice tank. I like that tank a lot. It's got a ton of hiding places. It looks very clean. I love the sandy substrate. This is really well, like, aquascaped. The amount of fish looks good. The plants look good. The water's a little yellow. Clearly, you have some tannins still in the water, which is fine. You can fix that over time. It's pretty good. I'll give this an 8. Because I consider this the top of good, right? It's not impressive to me, but it's good. Like, I feel like 9 and 10 should be reserved for tanks that surprise me, that are impressive. This is really good, but it's not impressive. It doesn't surprise me, you know? So I'm going to give it an 8. Grace. Very pretty beta tank. I like it. Not too small. I can't tell if these are real or not. I think those are real. This grass looks fake, but I think they're real. Not a ton of hiding places, I will say. It does have like a little bed for the beta. Not a ton of places for it to chill. A little floating log, but it's not bad. I'll give it a four. 
My Dumbo Half Moon Beta Haru is elderly, stupid, and special needs. Okay, Jesus. Missing an eye and is almost a year and a half. The tank is designed based on his preferences and needs in old age. Filtration, size, and decor picked so he can easily locate food since he's half blind and he can move and maneuver easily. Fair enough. Tried to have a planted tank and he ate any visible plant roots like a dumbass and would end up killing the plants. He's a big, stupid old man, so I have to accommodate him. Okay, you know what? Good point. After reading that information, I'm going to bump this up to a six actually because that that's that's good if she is or they are perfectly you know accommodating their fish that makes more sense i was only judging the lack of hiding spaces and real plants but if your fish is too dumb to hide and eats all the plants then you know what fair enough all right nathan J. nice little plant to tank with some cute little i assume those are guppies that's a very cute tank i like i love the greenery i like how it looks like it's growing wild like, this looks like it's weeds in your garden, right? The way that it's just kind of growing wild there. I really like that. And then some cute pictures of the guppies. That's a cute tank. I'll give that tank a uh, six. Maple bagel. Very nice. Love the plants. The real plants or some aloidia, I think, is what that is. Cute fish. Tetra. Is it on its own? Oh, no. Oh, there's lots of other. I didn't even notice. Are these grammys? There's other tetras. There's some grammys. That's a nice tank. I'll give it a six. That guy, Sam. I don't recognize any of these people's names other than EE. E. Very, uh, wow. Okay. So we've got the shark, Bala shark, which is a cyprinid. Got some angel fish and some uh, rainbow fish or Grammys. I had this exact, wow. I had this exact filter. I remember this filter because I remember how it would, uh, swing down. It is a little bit crowded. Yeah. There's not quite enough real like plant life or driftwood or stuff like that to accommodate the fact that it's pretty crowded. Those are some fish that are going to get somewhat big, but it's not the worst. I, I mean, it's fine. This is like if, if people were if everyone was doing this, there would be no problems, right? Because it gets so, so much worse. So this is this is fine. I'll give it a I'll give it a four corn dog. OK. That's a very nice. Now, this looks like the kind of tank that I would have. Very nice. It's got the nice gravel, beautiful driftwood, a bunch of nice plants, and then just some little tetras, a little school of tetras enjoying that whole tank. This is very cute. I, I love this tank. This looks like a, a wonderful environment for these fish. I like this tank a lot. Uh, that, that driftwood, I don't know if you bought this driftwood or if you found it. But that driftwood is very pretty. I also love these lily pads. I'm going to give that an eight. I think we're going to tie this to an eight. All right, OG Mason. Wow. Holy shit. See, now, doesn't this look so much cooler than the tanks that people put like a bunch of like fake stuff in, you know, like a bunch of like SpongeBob square point square pants things. This looks so cool. It's a whole ass forest. The fish are swimming in and out of the plants. They've got all these awesome places to hide. This would be so cool because you see a different thing every time you look. I'm going to give this a nine. This surprised me. This impressed me and surprised me, but I want to leave room just in case there's a crazy one that'll beat this. But I'm going to give this a nine. I really like this tank. If I had this tank, I would be very proud of it. I'm a big fan of that tank. Peanuts are boring. Kathy's tank. OK, that is certainly quite fake, but it's not terribly small. I think assuming it goes all the way around, there doesn't really seem to be good places to hide. And the tank itself is somewhat small. And it's all fake. This is very much not my kind of tank, but the fish looks healthy. It was about three to four gallons. The fishy only one in there. It was a cylinder tank with a filter in the middle. Had lots of rocks and fake plants and other items without being too crowded. Yeah, I mean, three to four gallons for a beta is like the, the minimum kind of thing. Like, OK, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't like the fake very much. I'll say I'll give it a three. I'll give it a three. It's not bad, but it doesn't appeal to me. Elbow's tank. Oh, Elbow's always making fun of tanks. Let's see what he's got. Oh, goddamn. All right, fair enough. That's a nice ass tank. Look at that. Look at the way all oh, the way those rocks are in that driftwood is so beautiful. That's a very nice tank. 36 gallon bow front. I've always wanted a bow front tank. One of these tanks that's curved in the front. I don't know why, but it feels like it's I just like them a lot the way that they're they're shaped. I feel like it adds a cool depth feature to the tank when you have a, a bow front. I really like this tank. But is it a nine? Is it better than that other tank that we just saw? I feel like it's not. But the other tank was only plants. This one has the forest and it has the rocks and that I'll give it an 8.5. I think it's above every other one except for the one that we just looked at. Fubberpish. Wow, very nice. 
It's a very nice tank. I love those plants. I love the fact that I can only see a couple little Tetras swimming around. I love the wood. I love the plants, the way that they're growing. I love the, the substrate, all these little rocks. That's a pretty tank. This is a, yeah, no, that's a, that's a very pretty tank. I think I have to give that an eight. It's like the top of, that's a solid eight. It's the, it didn't impress me or surprise me, but it was very good for what I, what I've seen. Okay. This is from someone who on discord goes by fish man. So I sure hope. Okay. Not a bad tank. It's a little empty, but that's fine. If you're the kind of person who likes to show off your fish or you like to see them a lot, as long as there's sufficient hiding spaces, which it does seem that there is, but it does seem kind of barren, but that's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with having a, a very open tank. Oh, and there's another tank, two different tanks. Oh, wow. Also has this tank, which is really cool. I mean, this is like like native environment type stuff. You got the dead leaves and the plants, the tannin water. Oh, with the plants covering the entire surface. I really like this one. I don't like this one as much. This one's like a this one is like a five. This one's like a an eight, probably. So we'll average it out and we'll say a six point five. All right. Sir brain damage. Whoa, it's a beta tank. That's a crazy beta tank. Holy shit, that's so nice. The way the plants are, the way the driftwood is, there's even plants growing on the driftwood so you can tell that it's well established. Oh, the Aloidia going across the thing. This plant in the front is really beautiful. I love the little plants that make it look like it's like grass. The little driftwood. And the only thing in here is this betta. This betta is living the fucking good life. Holy shit. I'm gonna tie it for now. I'm gonna put it at a nine tentatively. I think we're gonna tie it. If we don't find one that's better than these two, then we'll we'll have to do a tiebreaker. But otherwise, we're gonna say those are tied for now. Chris Y. Chris Y very active in the Discord. Oh my. <laughs> Interesting. That's um it could just be the quality of the photo, but the water doesn't look great. But I don't dislike the tank. Seems like there's a decent amount of fish in it for kind of how barren it is, but there are hiding spots, there are plants. The water's a little murkily colored. It's fine. I'll give it a five. It's it's fine. Nothing special. Drenovar. Oh, wow. Ooh, I love this. Oh, I'm going to steal that. Yo, my next tank is going to do this exactly. This is so cool. Having a hiding spot like that that you can easily see into those shelves. That's really nice. I love these plants. Everyone has these. I love them. That's a very nice tank. I'll give it a seven. It's not as good as it could be, but it's very nice. Arctic Iceberg. Okay. It's pretty barren. That's surely a fake plant, right? Nothing's flowering underwater like that. The the substrate, since they asked they asked for advice, the the substrate's a little um, neon, <laughs> and there's not a lot going on. I think a more muted substrate and some actual plants would be nice, but I don't dislike it at all. It's just it's kind of barren. Something on the side, maybe a rock. If you put like a nice driftwood right here, this tank would double in in quality. Some batteries, yeah. I had to get the Rayovac sponsorship in there. I'll give it a four. Grayscale. Grayscale, someone I talk to frequently, has lots of fish tanks, has all sorts of cool stuff. Oh my God, Grayscale. Oh, Grayscale's gonna win this thing. Oh, it's so beautiful. Jesus. Look at all of these plants and fish and the snails, the rocks, everything growing on the rocks, the establishment of the tank. Oh my god, and I know Grayscale has more than one tank. Oh, it's the darter! The Johnny darter. Or maybe test slated, but it looks like a Johnny to me. I love your tanks. I love this tank. This is such a nice tank. Do I give this a 10? I think I have to. This is a 10. This is probably the best thing we're gonna see. I will be surprised if we come across something better than this. Sandierda. Left no comments. Wow. Okay. That's a big tank. It's pretty nice. I do like the mixture of like man-made objects and, you know, non-man-made objects. That's interesting. Are those dace? Surely those are not dace. Is that a, oh, it's a scuba man on his chest. But there's a whole ass pleco here. That's interesting. I do really like this planted area. Very pretty. It's a very pretty tank. It's a, it's a solid tank. I would give this tank uh, a six. I'll give that tank a six. No, I'll give it a seven. I give it a seven. It's a solid tank. Ty Tyler. Again, it's a little barren. There's not really great hiding spots, but I love the rocky substrate. It's a very pretty fish. I like the way the tank is set up. I love the plants. 
it's just kind of barren. I feel like if you put like a nice driftwood in this corner here, like a like a one that has branches out and creates hiding spots and stuff like that, that I think it could be like a seven. This is a really nice tank with a driftwood installation. Without it, I'll put it at like a five. It's nice. Nothing special though. Scavenger R. Interesting. A very long tank. We haven't seen that very much. A tank that's very long, but not as tall. A lot of like man-made stuff, but also some natural. I can't this. I, th I think this is a fake plant. It looks fake to me. I don't know if it's real. I might have to assume that it's fake. <laughs> crashed airplane. Yeah, it is crazy that an airplane crashed into your tank. Um, I'll give it a four. Paint. What do you what do you have to offer paint? OK, it's a reasonable tank. Again, I don't mind when people do this mixture where they have plants and driftwood, but then they also have some like typical decor. I don't mind when people do this. I think I think it looks nice. Doesn't have very many fish. Whatever this fish is, is cool. It must be a beta of some sort, because it looks really nice. I'll give it a six. The interior decorating is not the best, but the tank itself is very nice. Winnie! What's Winnie got to go? Holy Jesus Christ. There are a lot of fish in that tank. Jesus. It's a very beautiful tank, but there are a shitload. That's, I mean, it's a very beautiful tank. There are a shitload of uh, fish, though. I would definitely say this is overstocked. It's a very nice tank, though. And I don't think that they're living in, in bad conditions. I'm sure the fish are fine. It's just a lot. And I mean, these are Synodontuses as well as a Synodontus. He's only going to get bigger. It's just a lot of fish. Yeah. I think if you even like cut the number of the fish in half, this is a really, really nice tank. It's just a lot. A lo yeah. Imagine feeding time in this tank. It's just a lot of fish. I think with a normal amount of fish, this tank is an eight. Without the, you know, when it has so many fish, I'm going to put it down to a six. I think it's just a little crowded, a little cramped. Cthulhu for kids. Crazy Discord name. Okay, interesting. Is this decaying plant matter or is this a different substrate? Is this, this might be decaying plant matter. It looks like those leaves are dying. Interesting. There are plants in there, but they're kind of dying. Your fake plant is doing the best, unsurprisingly. I, the backdrop is interesting. We haven't really seen a plant with a, a, a tank with a backdrop yet. I don't really like this fake neon gravel thing, so points off for that. It's okay. It's a four. Again, it's it's nothing special. Vibe fish. I know vibe fish. I see them in chat all the time. It's not bad. A wee bit barren, barren, but I think it only feels barren because it's barren height wise. Like this is a really tall tank compared to its width, which I think makes it feel barren, but it's, it's fine. The placement is, is okay. I do like this driftwood. I feel like this is what a lot of the other tanks were missing. A lot of the other tanks had a driftwood like this and they're open barren space. So they'd be really nice. I'll put it at a five. It's a good tank. Lacerda is a weeb. Lacerda drew something for me from a fighting game. Lacerda, a big fighting game nerd, loves to draw fighting game characters. Let's see what they've got to offer in terms of a tank. Interesting. Small. Nice. Reasonable. Somalis. Or platies. Or just, I don't even fucking know what to call these things. I do not know much about aquarium fish. I'll be real. Well, identifying them, that is. But it's a very nice tank. I like it. It's very simple. There's hiding spaces, but you know, not too much. It's a nice, simple little design. You got some algae on the sides, which people complain about, but that's fine. I'll give it a five. It's a nice tank. Dynamo Terror. Oh, okay. Oh, is this like a, a backyard pond installation? And what is in there? Are those mosquito fish? This is a patio container pond home to five mosquito fish, three species of native sma snails and several types of water plants. Interesting. Mosquito fish are a good choice. They love living in that kind of thing. It's a cool idea. Just a big old pot, block off the water exit, and then just put some cool stuff in it. I like the idea. I don't feel like you as a human get much enjoyment out of it, pot friend, but I do think it's a cool idea. I like it. I'll give it a five. All right, Taco Cat. Okay. You've cut off half of the tank with this, but I do really like that, that greenery. It's very nice. And I like that substrate. The backing wall is very pretty. Wow. There's the full tank. That's a very nice tank. That's very that's very satisfying to look at. You'll see fish coming in and out of the greenery. You've got really cool greenery. Is this a bendy straw? <laughs> what is going on here? Is this a bendy straw? This looks like a bendy straw. Yeah, I like the red plants mixed in with the green to add some color, even though the fish add some color. Look at this fish's coloration. Very beauty, very pretty. But seriously, is this a bendy straw? I'm pretty sure this is a bendy straw. I'll give it a seven. It's pretty good. Very good. Oh, wow, wow. That's very nice. I love that. I, I have a soft spot for the bow front tanks. I love the bow front. That's a fire design. Yeah. Very pretty fish. Very pretty tank. 
that's a that's a solid seven. That's really well. That's really well set up. I'm not particularly surprised or impressed, but it's a really nice tank. I'll give it a seven. All right, John, ninety-seven gamer. Oh, day by day aquariums. Day by day aquariums literally has aquariums in their name. Participates in the ichthyology chat. Let's see, the only person who could potentially dethrone Grayscale. Oh my. Okay, so we've got sort of like a kelp forest kind of vibe here. A nice open sandy tank with all these beautiful plants. I do really like this. I really like that design. I do I do love this design. I love the simplicity of it. I love the, the plants that are like really clumped together at the roots and then spread out. So the top of the tank, whereas normally the bottom of the tank feels full and then the top of the tank is very open. This is sort of the opposite. It feels like the bottom of the tank is very open, but the top is very full, which I kind of like the reversal of roles there. I don't think this is better than Grayscale's tank. I think Grayscale's tank has more diversity. I will give it a, an 8.5. It impressed me just a little bit. All right, we have one more tank from I Alexi. This is the last tank. Actually, that's really nice. It has an out of water component as well. Wow. Wait, that's really pretty. I love the out of water component. Is there something living out of the water? Primarily an Ender's live bearer tank, but has quarries as well. This is really impressive, actually. Plants growing in and out of the water, a whole underwater section, a whole above water section. The only thing I wish there was something that lived, like if you had like a mud skipper or something, something that came in and out of the water or a frog or a turtle. I feel like this could be a really cool tank to have something that switches between land and water. And it almost feels wasted to have a whole land section that's only occupied by not by plants. But I do really like the design. I don't think this dethrones grayscale. I think we're going to put this at a 9.5. I think this is the second best tank we've seen by far, but I think our winner is going to be grayscale. I think grayscale had the best tank by far. I love grayscale's tank. Look at this thing. Oh, it's so beautiful. I just the diversity, the fact that there's different plants and plants of different sizes. Look at the little darter. It's a nice freshwater tank. It has one of my favorite fish, which appeals to me. It's got like the establishment of the moss and the algae and everything on the rocks, which is really beautiful. It feels full bottom to top, but still has like an open viewing area. Great diversity. Great tank. I'm a big fan of that tank. So congratulations, Grayscale. Wow.